Hey everyone and welcome back to r slash TIFU, the subreddit where people tell hilarious stories of ways that they screwed themselves or someone they care about over. Today's post, TIFU, by hiding in my girlfriend's room when her strict Asian parents suddenly came home. Long time Reddit reader, first time making an account because I am currently stuck in my girlfriend's room while she and her family are having dinner downstairs. I haven't eaten since morning nor showered and I need to take a dump. Backstory to this morning. Since the lockdown for COVID-19 happened, I haven't seen my girlfriend for over a month plus. Our government recently relaxed the quarantine so we are allowed to go out but not loiter. Woke up to my girlfriend's call around 11 a.m. saying that her parents went out to get something. I thought, okay, I'll come over, return her a camera I borrowed, and maybe we can sit in my car around her neighborhood and hang out a while. It was a little rushed as her parents just left her house as I left mine. I'm about 20 minutes away from her place. She assured me her parents will be out for at least one and a half hours as they need to get lunch. I drove as fast as I could, and picked her up from the front of the house and we drove to a park nearby to hang out. After a couple of minutes, I asked if she brought some water as I asked her about it before I came and she said no. She said, why don't you come in and take some water since her parents will still be far away. I said yes, obviously, and went in, drank water, and we sat on the couch for a while to cuddle. I was a little paranoid, but I haven't seen her in a long time, so I needed it. About 10 minutes in, we hear a car outside her house, and that's how I effed up. It was her parents. They were only out for 40 minutes. F my life, we panicked. Luckily, I parked away from her house and took my slippers in. I contemplated just owning up and lying that I needed to use the toilet, but her mom is really difficult. She would assume my girlfriend was lying and get her in trouble, and I haven't even met her parents officially as her boyfriend yet. If you are from an Asian family or have heard of Asian parents being strict about relationships, it's true. We both ran up to her room and I hid behind her door. Mind you, her room is really small. It's about the size of two single beds. Can't hide under the bed as she has to keep her door open and you can see straight under her bed from the stairs. The only place possible is behind her door. I stood there frozen AF as she went down to greet her parents. I could hear them coming in as I hugged the wall as tightly as I could. She came back up freaking out, but I said it's okay. Let's just try to formulate a plan. She said okay, and she went down to eat with them first, which I then had to stay as silent as possible with no fan or air conditioning, so I sweated my butt off. 1 p.m. ish. She comes back up and we try to listen whether her parents are coming up or not. They usually sit downstairs after lunch and nap, which they did. Gave me a little bit of relief as I could sit down on the floor. The space in between the door and her table is super tiny, which is uncomfortable, but I'm not complaining. 2 p.m. Her dad comes up to shower and her door is right next to the bath area. Frick, I can hear the water rushing. But good news, my girlfriend is in the room doing her work so she can look out. It's weird as I'm just standing up behind the door and looking at her look back at me. After his shower, her dad leaves to go to his store which leaves her mom downstairs. She gets on a long phone call which gives me a bit of room to relax. My girlfriend and I make out a bit to calm our nerves and I gotta say it did help. For the next three hours, her mom stays downstairs and we try to formulate a plan, but everything involves the timing of her parents, which is impossible. Can't jump out the window because it's grilled and she doesn't have the key. Around 5.30 p.m.-ish, her dad comes home and almost freaking comes into her room. He asks her to print something and she quickly walks to her door to stop him from coming in. I hear his voice right outside the door. Thankfully, he walks away and goes down to watch TV. And I swear to God, the universe wants us to suffer because right after that, her mom comes upstairs and hangs about the common area. 
My girl had recorded a Zoom meeting, so she tells her mom she has a meeting and plays it, and closing the door gives my legs much needed rest, and I sit. 7 p.m. Her mom calls her from downstairs that it's time to eat, and that's where we are now. It's currently 9 p.m. at this sentence, and I can hear her family talking to each other. She has to turn off the lights and fan and air conditioning, so I'm freaking drenched in my sweat in the dark. I'm sitting down, but I've got pins and needles in my feet now. I would stand up, but because the area is so tight, I don't want to risk any noise. Oh, remember how I haven't eaten and need to go to the bathroom? That's attacking now. My stomach is growling and I'm making fart noises. I'm so scared to be caught because my parents are going to slaughter me too. My girlfriend and I will discuss our plans for me to escape when she comes up. Update 1. They are done with dinner. My girlfriend brought me some water and biscuits, but I don't have the appetite to eat. Don't want to drink too much as I would risk needing to go to the toilet. She went back to do the dishes. Update 2. It's 9 p.m. and my girlfriend is in her room. She told her family she is playing Animal Crossing with her friends, so hopefully her parents don't barge in. We're going to formulate a plan for me to escape now. I can finally stretch my legs. Update 3. We have a plan. 9.30 p.m. We're going to wait for her parents to head up to their room. She's going to check if their door is closed and where they're looking at. She'll bring me downstairs and I'll hide in the storeroom. She'll then go and tell her parents she's taking photos of the night and don't worry if the door alarm rings because they have an alarm system in place. She'll unlock the main door, the outside small gate and leave it open for a bit. It's a gated and guarded area so it's pretty safe. She'll go check on her parents as they like to look at what she's doing from their room. Once she's confirmed they are not looking, she'll get me from the storeroom. I'll go all the way out and hide behind a pillar in front of her house. She'll lock everything and go back up and check her parents are not looking out. And I'll walk to my car so I don't startle her dog. Sounds pretty legit as she knows her parents schedule the best. Update 4, 9.41 p.m. Showed my girlfriend this post and we're reading the comments. Really means a lot to us that everyone is supportive. Makes the nerves less frightening. We're hugging it out and playing Animal Crossing till her parents go to sleep at around 11. Update 5, I'm still here and it's around 10.30. My time zone is GMT plus 8 for those who are still invested. We're just preparing for when her parents go to bed so we're trying to calm our nerves. Update 6. It's 11, but her parents are not sleeping. For some strange reason, her mom decided to bake at like 10.30. Starting to think they suspect something. Update 7. Yes! My girlfriend just went down and her mom is done baking and says she is going to sleep soon, which just leaves her dad still watching TV. I'm almost out. I can feel the wind already. Just can't get too trigger happy and jump the gun. Update 8. F. Her mom just walked past her room, heading into her own room. Her dad also getting ready to sleep. This is about to happen, guys. Phase 1 of our plan is about to commence. Update 9. Damn, her mom went to bed, but her dad is still watching TV. It's like 11.30 p.m. and he is still watching? At least her mom is in her room, so that is good. Update 10. Okay. Plan is in action. Her dad is now in their room and she is moving my stuff downstairs to the storeroom. I'll update once I'm inside. Update 11. Took my last sip of water and went down to the storeroom. Phase 1 complete. Her dad is showering. Her parents' door is closed. Now for the front door and gate. Update 12. Girlfriend opening the door and the gate. I have to wait for her. 13. Slight change. I went out the door together with her. Her dog isn't barking, so that's good. She has to open the gate. 14. Out the gate. Bending down. Waiting for her to text me. 15. She's taking some photos to sell the story. Better not rush it. Her dog is getting very close to me and sniffing me through the gate. Oh god, please don't bark. Final update. Effing hell, guys. I made it. I just started the engine and my heart is pounding. I'm safe and sound, 
Time to go home. Got out 11.53. Post clarification. It's 12.15 a.m. I'm home sipping a hot cup of Milo and laughing with my girlfriend about the entire day. We just want to thank everyone that supported us and this stupid situation we put ourselves in. The nerves were real and seeing how everyone wanted the best for us really helped us push through this emotionally. Wanted to clarify a few things for quite a number of questions. 1. A lot of people were saying this story is a fake, similar to other stuck in room with family and house. Unfortunately, Asian people go through similar things and this is no exception. The strict family and rebellious child scenario. Same coin, different sides. 2. A few people mentioned how this is similar to another post a year ago and truth is, I was inspired by that post to share this story. It was a very emotionally troubling time for both of us and after reading the mentioned post and seeing how supportive everyone was and how it made the OP feel much better, I thought it would be a good idea for my girlfriend and I to do the same. And it did. It honestly helped us feel like we could make this work. I'm really sorry I can't prove it happened, but this was real to the both of us and that's more important. 3. We own up to this mistake and that's why it's on TIFU. We effed up big time and have only ourselves to blame, but we survived it and learned never to repeat it again. 4. This situation happened in Malaysia. It's a very hot and humid country, so it's very common for people to shower more than once or twice a day, and sometimes before we sleep. 5. We're Chinese. 6. This is the most amusing part, and I'm glad everyone was worried about it. Yes, I did take a dump after I ate. It was brutal. Constipation due to the lack of water. Not only were my legs shaking, my butthole hurt too. Not fun. 7. 4 p.m. Next day. Oh god, this is still going on in the comments, but I wanted to add something after my girlfriend went through the comments. To those who opened up about similar stories about hiding or having strict parents, i.e. no friends over or always under watch, it really meant a lot to her that there are other people who go through the same thing as her, and I would like to thank you for sharing. She always felt like the odd one out of her friends, not being able to go out, tight rules, etc. And it's good to know she isn't the only one. Some people don't understand this, and that's fine. Everyone grows up in different scenarios. It's not that she doesn't love her parents, it just sucks to be in her situation. I wish I could give her more credit for what happened last night. She risked so much just for us to see each other. Thank you again for investing your time in this. Didn't expect it to blow up like this, but you guys helped a lot. Time to sleep now. Good night, everyone! So that's it for the post, guys. I don't know, I know people doubted the authenticity of this one, but I'm willing to give the OP the benefit of the doubt. I think it's a, a, you know, mostly uninteresting story enough that I don't think it sounds that wild that it couldn't be true. You know, I, I grew up um, knowing some people in military families who were very strict. I grew up uh, in some evangelical church circles, right, where... Um, Definitely there were rules about certain kids needing to being forced to leave their doors open and things like that So I can totally envision this scenario happening and I was I was really entertained by this story I hope you enjoyed this one another one. That's a little bit of levity. We like bringing these uh, these kind of hilarious posts Although I'm sure it wasn't hilarious for OP. I mean parents can bring serious consequences Parents that are that strict can ban someone from seeing someone and ruin a relationship So I'm sure the stakes were high for them uh, as always, if you like this post, leave a like or a comment responding to what you think about these strict parents and the trapped OP uh, down below. That always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more and hear more posts from r slash TIFU and other subreddits in the future, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and for listening.